this with gun was swamped with police. It was like. It's your girl Tutu. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a story time. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. This your girl Tutu. I do vlogs. I do story time. Sorry. <laughs> I do vlogs. I do story times. I do like luxury lifestyle. I'm going to be doing fashion hauls. The whole shebang. Okay. So... Again, before I start this video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And disclaimer, in my story times, in no type of shape, I'm trying to form, I'm trying to, you know, bash anyone. I'm just simply telling y'all about my life experiences with people. And hopefully, if you guys come across people with these kind of characteristics, y'all can run before y'all even get into a situation. So, this, this video is going to be about how my dad, Crazy X called the police on me and y'all finna be so shocked what she did i'm gonna call her thin line between love and hate because she remind me of that lady of thin line between love and hate if y'all haven't seen that movie that's a pretty old movie if y'all haven't seen it please go watch it because that lady was crazy as hell okay so i'm gonna give y'all a little backstory back in the day my dad was dating this lady and so y'all can know how crazy she was like one time she got basically she got mad because my dad ain't want her no more and they end up having a child and everything but she got mad because my dad ain't want her no more so she basically beat her own self up and called the cops and said my dad put his hands on her and of course because she was bruised up they took my dad to jail later on she did admit to the cops and stuff that she was you know she gave a false report and she lucky my dad ain't put her ass in jail like because my dad got in a lot of trouble because of her i was a little girl this after her and my dad done broke up i done got older my sister from her at the time i i want to say mm, she was probably eight or nine years old she like i wanted i had started you know wanted to be around my little sister so she would bring my sister to the house but instead of her leaving i'm sorry about my phone hold on i'm sorry y'all my little sister ended up getting in contact some type of way so she started bringing my little sister over to my mom's house which at the time i think i was like 15 16 my sister was probably eight or nine and instead of her just dropping my sister off and leaving she would sit there all day and you know how my mom was cool you know so her whole conversation would be about my dad oh he did this he did that he's no good he's this he that so my mom would listen or whatever you know i'm not in her shoes i don't know how she felt but obviously you know eight eight nine years later she's still hurt so my mom would start getting aggravated with her because she would be the eye house like 12 1 o'clock in the morning talking all freaking day and it became a continuous thing so my mom would call my my stepmom the one the my the, my dad wife my dad first wife and she would okay this sounds so confusing so she would be at my mom's house all day talking about my dad talking my mom was getting aggravated with her so something ended up happening something ended up happening she texts my phone i don't remember what happened but my mom was already up to here with her then line between love and hate to be like step what you doing step and she my mom be like oh my god this bitch trying to come to my house like she's so aggravating but something ended up happening and my mom ended up cussing her ass out and she ended up stopped coming over so years later years go by i'm 24 25 i end up being pregnant with my second child and of course like you know my sister start coming around so I had a baby shower. She brought my sister to the baby shower. And we started being back all right or whatever. But stopped having my second child. And she she started bringing my sister over to see my baby. 
she and in, instead of her again instead of her bringing my sister dropped my sister off at this time i think my sister was like 15 16 instead of her just dropping my sister off she would sit at my house the same thing she did with my mama she started doing with me sent to my house all day talking about my dad oh he wasn't no good i was so tired of him and i'm thinking to myself at this point lady it's been like 16 years like you still pressed about a man that haven't y'all haven't been together in so long so i was told my husband i'm like babe i'm so sick of this lady talking about my daddy and i try to be sympathetic but like bitch at this point you get on my nerves you talk too much let go that hurt like I don't understand. Then you lucky I'm even talking to you because you lied on my damn daddy and got him arrested for no reason. So, this one particular day, so then I'm about to get to the juicy part. So, this one particular day, I was I had not told myself, I'm not finna answer my door. I'm not finna answer my phone. I want to say I was two weeks um, postpartum. And I was just over her, like, bringing all that negativity, like, into my house with the drama. It was never nothing positive. And, y'all, when y'all come across people that just always have drama in their life, run. Because they're going to try to bring you down in that drama like, I got sick of her. So, she was, she pulled up for one. She came to my house without even calling me, asking me was I home. Even though it was obvious that I was going to be home. But, you ain't even called me so she pulled up to my house and was knocking on my door i didn't answer my door so she started calling me and then she started to text calling me off my sister phone and then my sister was like are you home sis then she was like hey i'm outside can you open the door this lady stood out there for like a fucking hour so my husband, um, he called his called his best friend, his brother. He just so happened to live like two doors down from us. He was like, "Man, what you doing, man? She's not home, man. Just go, go, go." So, oh yeah, and so I forgot to add this too. Low key, I feel like she was kind of obsessed with me because I am my dad' first child. So when I was a little girl, like she would call me, and I understand her because they were dating. Oh, you my baby. I want you to call me mom like she was giving me very much a lifetime then line between love and hate was very emotional and when things ain't go her way she would be in the outrage she was very very obsessive with me and my daddy so back to what i was saying my husband friend was like um she's not home what you doing so i think that pissed her off because after that after that she texted my phone she was like i got you so let me tell y'all what happened oh my god the next day i just so happened i had um some neighbors she was a um a nice lady um she invited me over because they they loved my baby over there they was like come over mommy's gonna take care of you there was some jamaican people girl that was so nice they cook they cook and stuff the mama had my baby and she was like you know relax you've been you just be in that house so i want you to you know come over here kick back you will watch the baby while you watch tv so how do if we lived in part, apartments that was connected so i felt something behind me and I seen people with guns well polices with guns and it was like the freaking SWAT team I swore on my mama like it was the SWAT team police is like it was so many of them they was like going slow so I'm like girl who is that like they on she like no girl they going to you Jamaica she's like no girl they going to your house like I can't really like do the accent but y'all get what I'm trying to say so I realized that police, my our my apartment was swamped with police. It was like I want to say eight cars outside. Outside, it was just like probably twenty of them. So she was like, "Um, girl, stay here, stay here. I'm gonna go outside and see what's going on." So y'all tell me, tell me why, y'all that crazy lady because. I stopped answering my phone for her because I didn't let her in my house. Tell me why this lady had done called the police 
and had basically told him that I was in the house and about to kill my newborn baby. What if I was in the house sleep and the people would have bust in there and shot me? What if they would have, and I hadn't had a cesarean at that, so I'm in pain. What if them people would have just threw me down? My cut could have bust back open. Like, this lady was so mad because I did not want to deal with her that she went over, like, above and beyond to try to, like, get me locked up. Like, so my husband friend ended up calling him so i'm so happy and grateful my husband at the time was working like three minutes up the road it was so many polices my husband couldn't even get to our street he had to park all the way down the street he ran he like what's going on so just kind of find out she basically had a police of false report she lied the crazy same thing she did to my dad she tried to do to me. She's obsessive. She's still obsessed and she's fucking crazy. Sorry. She's crazy. And I never seen her again after that. When you just come across people that's just super obsessed with you like that, run because it's dangerous. And when things don't go their way, they really try to flip the script and they'll, they'll do anything like, when I tell you, I'm so grateful I was not in my house that day. For some reason, that girl was like, I'm going to call her. What What her name? I'm going to get a um, Jamaican girl a name. What am I going to name her? I'm going to name her Island. Good name Island was like, girl, come out that house. Come up here with me and mommy, girl. I'll take care of the baby. Because if not, I would have probably got shot. I could have probably went to jail until they got done investigating. Even though I didn't do nothing. It was just supposed to... It was scary. And uh, my husband ended up talking to them. And they ended up leaving. Back, and I don't know why. I was just so, so, like, shocked. I ain't even had, I don't even know why I didn't text her. And to be honest with y'all, I'm very, like, you know, but when you, if a person pisses me off, when I know I ain't do something, like, you, you, you tried me. You put me and my child in danger. I should have text her and gave her the business to call her but you know what people like her i just like god handle it and you know that's basically my story time about how my dad crazy ex then i'm between love and hate called the police on me because in in lie and said i tried to kill my baby because she was mad because i got tired of talking about my daddy and coming to my house and she didn't know how to go home i used to be breastfeeding my baby hard now like falling asleep she's like well your dad he was doing this and that and i i just don't know too i i just don't girl get over it <laughs> but i'm at the end of story time if y'all want another story time do not forget like comment down below I'll give y'all another story time. I think my next story time is going to be how I almost went to jail on my birthday twice. Stay tuned. <laughs>